So planning is the process of thinking about the activities required to achieve a desired goal. It is based on foresight, the fundamental capacity for mental time travel. The evolution of forethought and the capacity to think ahead is considered to have been a prime mover in human evolution and a fundamental property of intelligent behavior. It involves the use of logic and imagination to visualize not only a desired end result, but the steps necessary to achieve the result. With inflation in double digits and the seeming freefall of the Naira against the dollar, the spending power of the average Nigerian, whether rich or poor, has been significantly impacted. As we approach the festive season with its associated increased expenses, prudent planning is more than a nice to have. It is abs an absolute necessity. What are your goals for this season and have you put plans in place? Please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation and send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 0818-038-4663. Tweet to us at Wayshow Africa one with the hashtag Wayshow. So, joy to the world. To the world has come. Oh, come all you faithful and all of that yes. stuff. My favorite is driving home for Christmas. And of course, we know Mariah will soon come. Ah, yes, yeah, so the Christmas. All I want for <laughs> Every year. So, you know, it just has come around so quickly, mm -hmm. right? That I, I literally woke up and I was like, oh, hang on. It's a few weeks. It will be December. Mm -hmm. And it just creeps up on you. And I remember this time last year, I said to myself, ah, once I get into 2023, every month I'll be saving money mm -hmm. towards dirty December. Mm -hmm. Because to be fair, <laughs> last December, myself, mm -hmm. ooh, and I feel that we had, we started from December 1st. <laughs> And enjoyed it. We had life. an in, in, um, the usual, or mm. should I say, an amazing Lagos Dirty December. So it was really a lot of fun. Mm. Um, but it can get very oh, expensive, oh, right? It, it does. Um, plus the one you planned for, plus the one you did not plan yes. for. The I was going to say the obtainers, <laughs> the receivers, <laughs> the beggars. You know, there's just so much mm. um, that brings to that for the, the thought process of how much you have to spend, mm. and it might seem like. It's early, but I mean, 15 days or 13 days, 38 days. These are very short periods of time, yep. right? And people have to sort of start thinking about what Christmas means. Mm. So let me throw the question them? out there. <laughs> Since we are all planners, mm. have we added the festive season to our planning mood? I, Olaide, would like to say that <laughs> I have not planned a goddamn thing <laughs> concerning Christmas. All I know is I hope my family will be to my nuclear family mm. will be together and God will cover us with his mercy and his graces and let them return safely. That's my only hope. I find that you really can't plan for me okay. when it's Christmas. Like you said about it's a given period. As much as you think, oh, this is what my budget is for giving, I have an attitude that I am training myself continuously mm -hmm. about that if anybody asks you for something, pray to God that you're able to let them smile away uh -huh. when they're leaving you. Uh -huh. Because I believe God would always reimburse you and restock your household. Uh -huh. So while you're planning that, oh, this 50K, we're going to use it to go buy tickets for Dirty December concert or something. Someone may have a need that is more important than what you want to spend the money on. Uh -huh. I tell you, no lie, Uti. Give it to them. Not because you are doing a uh, double for your money with God. <laughs> I'm telling you, you know people do that. We've got testing. If mm -hmm. I'll give you 10K, you return 20 k by tomorrow. Give it to them. Mm -hmm. And let God use what he does to bless you back in a way that you will see that it will all end in praise. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, we used to do Christmas. I had kids who were in Iloimbo. I wanted to excite them. One day, I couldn't afford it. I saw cardboard. Christmas tree cut out oh. and I put it in one corner. What do you want for Christmas? Bought it and gave it. To I don't stress myself unnecessarily. Oh. But you see, that example you gave is, mm. um, is, is a good one because abroad you can have a quiet Christmas. You can sort of, yeah. you know. But I think yeah. culturally here, right? Because I remember growing up, mm. Christmas was that thing that we waited. It's not like now. Um, sorry, I show my age a little bit. <laughs> then some people only ate chicken. Mm. at christmas mm. it's not like now that chicken is the in fact some people we used to have a feast you know chicken christmas was you kill a chicken you, you know and ginger beer, there's rice everybody there's exactly yeah. so it was a big deal and it, you know it was that thing that took so long to come around i mean from a child's mm -hmm. perspective it took so long to come around but 
it seems like it has blossomed now into something that you really, really have to it's almost put a box around it and say, okay, if I'm disciplined enough not to step out of this in my planning, but you've even spoken about it or we've talked about it only from an ex expense point of view. Yeah. But in this town, December is wedding season, exactly. party season, event season. So even when we're talking about planning, for those that are lucky enough to have a, a you know, an enviable social season. calendar, let me put it that way. Yeah. You also have, you know, people are like literally, I go to one event, I come out, I'm trying to yeah, change in change the car, to get to another event. So even that comes into planning. Yeah. So yeah. what does your social calendar look like in December, Adela? <laughs> Ah, it's a time I spend with family and friends. Uh -huh. So because of my job, I rarely catch up with friends. Okay. I'm a bit of a homebody, uh -huh. you know, during the week. So my December is the best time people can see me. Uh -huh. really. So I, I map out, well, my boss, okay, so my boss made us... Every year when we when we start our strategy session, she says, Oh, come up with your vision, calendar, or vision, vision you, know, we, you, you know. So we we do all our financials and all that. And um, that has helped me to identify what my needs and then what my wants are, you know. So um, and then again, it allows me to prioritize, you know. Mm. When I'm thinking December, I'm thinking security, I'm thinking financial expenses, I'm thinking re replenishing myself in terms of how I connect with family, how I connect with friends, you know. So all that for me is a lot of planning. But um, I can say I'm ready for December. It's, it's mm. my favorite time of the year. Absolutely my favorite. There is no, I'm, I, I never get angry with anyone in December. I'm always happy jumping from one place to the mm. other. You know, anybody wants anything from me in December, they, they almost can get it. Really? And I plan for that. No, plan you. I was just going to say that I'm going to plan to be planned. I'm coming to eat something in December. Hello, I'm there for a share, Diola. So, so we're, we're coming around to you to make sure that we, we insert ourselves in yes, your, we're planning. In your <laughs> planning. Chile, so, chile, lu. <laughs> exactly. What are your, what's your Christmas plans looking like? Have so, they started, not started? Oh, it started already. Mm. Um, I have... I'm not even joking. I have six weddings in December. Uh -huh. I don't know why all my friends decided to get married in December. But then it's been like that. So family, December for us is the time to actually, that's when everybody's mm, together. Yes. So since I was a child, this, um, Christmas has always been that special season. We all because we now have family for the shows. We're just, it's just very special like that for us. So I know that there's that already. And then as I became an adult and I said to leave by myself, I... Uh, well, I'm not a social butterfly, but then in December, be sure to catch me in every show that's On is Instagram. Happening. <laughs> and as it is oh, now, goodness. my faves are having shows here and there in December. So I don't know what I'm, how I'm going to. I've not been able to, because two of the weddings are outside Lagos. Mm. So I'm like, okay. Yes. And then there's one concert after. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, how am I going? I'm still trying to figure it out, but my December, is not, my social calendar is packed. I, I wow. hope if you're going out of town, um, it's a nice segue, uh, what you just mentioned. I hope you, if you are booking flights, so I think it was <laughs> last month, someone shared with me the potential prices mm. of local flights. And he was like, 185,000, 190,000. And guess what? You can't, book, you can't book. So I was even, I, can't book I'm, going to, yes, I'm going to you for my cousin's wedding, right? And then I checked and I couldn't find a ticket for the 27th. Mm -hmm. I called and I'm like, what's going on? And they told so me, oh no, it's too, it's too early. Book. I have to hold on one or two weeks before my travel day. And I mean, that doesn't even That's make any strange. sense. Because it means sense. that I'm going to spend as much as 100,000 naira for one week. Wait. So yeah. I know that that one is already, because it happened Nigeria, to me two years yeah. ago as well. I was going to go to Uweri for a wedding mm. in December. And it was at the end of the day, when we, we literally had to go by road. Mm -hmm. We decided to do a group trip, myself and my friends. And then we were coming back with group because it was terrible. It was, we were going to spend 120000 just to fly to Uweri. This doesn't include coming back to Lagos. So I, I can imagine what's going to happen yeah. this Christmas. And the airport Someone at Christmas. Me, sorry, Someone asked me to come and go to a kitty on the 2nd of December. And I said, travel. You know the superstitious beliefs. That's yeah. one thing I also yeah. want to talk about. That you should, as much as possible, stay close to home mm. during those festive periods. 
so that you are guarded, you are guided, and you are protected. Mm -hmm. That's one thing Nigerians have always had. I don't know if anybody knows that. Yeah, but that, that thing of you don't put every single family member in a car, in one car. Mm -hmm. to go somewhere. Um, you 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 go out early, come back early, as in just protect mm -hmm. yourself. Mm -hmm. Because as festive as it is, there's the side of the people who are living in abject poverty, and that is when they see you for very thin, and they can easily identify and grab, oh. right? Oh. So I'm very conscious about that, especially because my children don't live here. My greatest prayer is, God, please help me take them back oh. when it's time to go. Mm. Everything is with a leap of faith. Yeah. So that's my festive planning calculations mm. in my head. So the one they will be the... Like, they will be the IJGBs. <laughs> yes. that, that's a different part of the conversation yes. because some people plan to attach themselves <laughs> to the IJGBs. Yes. I can't, I, you know, I, it's been too long now. I can't claim IJGB anyway. <laughs> but in those days, I literally like you. You spend money from the minute you arrive. Mm -hmm to the minute you leave, right? Yeah. But for the people that want to start planning, I said, what not be a bad plan? You may have a close friend coming. Now, that might assure Dollars. your... Exactly. Mm -hmm. That might also assure. So it's all part of the planning and assessing mm -hmm. your situation, opportunities, mm -hmm. threats. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> you, it's a whole SWOT analysis. So for Christmas. Income streams. Mm -hmm. yeah. Making hampers. Yeah. 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 For my business. For my yeah. business to exactly. speaking at engagements, yeah. weddings, yeah. birthday yeah. parties, yeah. 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 gatherings. It's nice. So you guys are going into work mode. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. we are. Yeah. It's when you people are... Relaxed. That's a funny thing. I keep telling people that what you call working days are not my working days. Especially when we're trying to calculate when the gen comes on in our company. <laughs> when they said oh, they will be out of work. I said, that's when I'm sleepy. So you have to consider me as well. Industries differ. And timing mm -hmm. also differs. December for people in the entertainment industry mm. is the busiest yeah. period. Yeah, Up absolutely. until maybe like Valentine's Day. Yeah. Yeah. And then we chill again till Easter. Yeah. Mm. It, it does get quite busy. Google us. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so I actually want to now come back. I think we've touched a little bit on everything. Yeah. But for those who don't have events, mm. everybody's got to eat. Yes. Right? And when we talk about smart planning, mm -hmm. right, it's really important that some people might say, oh, I don't have money. Mm -hmm. So I'm not really thinking about it yet. But you'd be amazed how much you can save when you start to take opportunities. I mean, Black Friday has become a whole thing in Nigeria that a few years ago it was not, was, right? Yeah. So there are opportunities as we get closer to, you know, even before we get, so I typically, when I'm doing my Christmas shopping, I'm a bulk buyer. Mm -hmm. um, yes. I typically like to do my shopping at the latest, the first weekend in December. Sure. So everything usually I go for end of November. Mm -hmm. I try and, you know, stock buy the and today. stock up and mm -hmm. just because, I mean, the, the price of staples, just like rice. The other day I saw someone posted on social media a picture of a particular brand of a, of a bag of rice. Mm -hmm. And nothing could have prepared me for the fact that that rice was 82500 naira <laughs> for rice. It's not even a full 50k bag. That size is about 45 kg. Now to shop to big for Christmas. 2,500. So when we even think about it, some of these things in terms of cost savings and being able to make it as, you know, cost effective as possible, because we know that once it gets into that period, again, it's supply and demand. Mm -hmm. You know, you first of all have things that are out of season, yeah. right? Um, so I like to buy my vegetables and, and things when they're in season. So you find that you're not coming in and rice has gone up, meat, chicken, excuse me, all of these things really do go up. So in terms of that smart planning, that's one place that I think that people can also look at starting early. And it doesn't, it doesn't have to take a lot, yeah. right? It's buying within your means, but the earlier you can buy, the, um, the better you can actually save. I just came up with something. <clears throat> or I thought of something. When we're talking about Christmas and shopping, don't put the pressure on yourself alone. If Uti, Laide, and Adiola and Chindelo decide let's buy a bag of rice together, we know that we each are chipping in 20k as opposed to stocking the yeah. whole bag for a longer period and then mm. it will be fresher when we're buying again. Mm. That's something you might want to consider because yeah. people share cows, mm. they share goats, mm. they share all kinds of yep. meat so yep. that you, you take smaller portions and you get a bit of everything. Absolutely. So let's... Very good one. <laughs> so let's take a short break um, and we'll be right back. Stay with us. So if you just tuned in, it's our Ladies Night Out and we're discussing the topic smart planning for the festive season. We still love to hear what you have to say. Um, 
Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 0818-038-4663 or tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1. Um, our phone line is also now open, so please call us on 702 five zero zero seven seven four nine so you can tell us how if in fact you have started planning and how you are planning for the festive season so i love where you we, the suggestion that you just gave yes. right because i think when we also were going to talk about this topic in my mind i thought a lot of people would be like there's no money today mm -hmm. yeah telling me to start planning for the future mm -hmm. but the idea that you actually just mentioned it reminded me of something we did um i think it was christmas of 2020 mm -hmm. right because of covid and all yes. we were kind of not sure what we were doing uh there was no going out at least for me and my friends anyway so we all just decided that you know what we were going to have a christmas day at home mm -hmm. um, and that was in the craze of bridgerton when the first bridgerton oh. came out so we decided it was going to be a binge watch um of bridgerton mm -hmm. but what we did was that everybody ordered something so we didn't even cook mm -hmm. right but everybody ordered so it was a bit like yeah, a potluck, potluck. just yeah. just yes. bring everybody stuff and everybody something. hung out and yep. um it was nice because, of course, all the kids were then together and, and could play and all. Mm. But there's something we haven't talked about. Gifting mm. and presents. Mm. My kids and I, my daughter came up with it. She said, this year, can we all gift one another something? Mm. Christmas candle. You know about mm -hmm. it now. Everybody gets somebody, but you don't tell them you got them. Secret Santa. Mm. Yeah, Secret Santa. Santa. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I said, God, Tony, I don't want to get you because I don't want, I don't have those traits. Because <laughs> that's what she's been putting on. Her birthday is coming up in the yeah. And she's telling us, combine the, the birthday and the Christmas. So I said, may God let me get my son because I, I ain't buying no bone straight for Christmas <laughs> kingdom, nothing. But it's true. We used to back in the day, I remember when I grew up, we had National Theatre always had events and things for kids. I was talking kids. about the other day. I was yeah. standing in front of City Hall and I was like, I mean, back in the 80s, National Theatre was, was where you went for Christmas. It was where the Santa Grotto was. That's where you went and sat. I have, I think I almost have like year on year Maybe Kingsway pictures. will feature or something. Santa will be mm. Kingsway, UAC. You know, all those things. Leventis. Yeah. And all yeah. them. There'll be so much activity yeah. Yeah. that around your neighborhood, there was enough to do to mm. occupy your time. And then you remember those people that used to walk around back in the day. I can't remember the country they come from. With those swords that don't cut. Mm -hmm. You no. never saw them. Not that I can remember. Oh, you guys must be young. When it was, <laughs> I'm telling you, Christmas time back in the day. Christmas back mm. in the day, this man from wherever, Uganda, Ghana, I don't know, mm. used to walk around the streets. It was mm. almost as if having a, a choir coming to mm. sing Christmas carol. Mm. We used to look forward to them. And what they used to do was have swords of all sorts and be mm. cutting themselves and be doing fee, 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 and the thing would cut. So even going that wasn't really necessary because entertainment was coming to meet you at mm, home. Mm. But back again to back in the good old days, mm. there was enough food. I mean, it wasn't about chicken. There was turkey. Mm. There was chicken. There was beef. There was ram. There was jollof. There was that's how we used to cook for Christmas. Mm. There was ginger beer, mm. which mm. was a Christmas drink. We need to find a way to get our children those memories we used to have. Mm. I think the memories are just changing, changing. right? Yeah. Because, mm -hmm. again, this conversation is just sort of feeding itself yes. naturally. Because it's good to say that planning as well for the children, because mm -hmm. you, you have them on holiday. They're closed maybe by the first, second week, maybe mm -hmm. second week mm -hmm. in yeah. December. Yeah. And then you've got to entertain them just the way you are planning the other <laughs> to December, right? You've got to also entertain the kids. Yeah. And whilst we may not have those staples like we had then with Back National the Theatre and mm -hmm. Papa Amusement Park and all of those things, we... Are in a time, yes, yes. We're in a time where do you know we still have you know that we also do have a I lot of activities you. for children yeah. as well because um interestingly enough, you know, not mentioning brands and all, but mm. some companies have been consistent, yes. right? Have managed to build consistency yeah. in activities for children. So from that planning perspective as well, it's something to add to your plans, researching activities for your children, whether it's going somewhere to get Santa gifts yeah. and play and paint, mm -hmm. all of these different activities, but it's also part of the planning because your children need to be involved in the um, festivities, right? Mm -hmm. Because to be honest, your own version of Dirty December is and the theirs the is so, so, so completely different, <laughs> right? Their own is to go to yeah. the Meridian for all them concerts. So, yeah. so there's just so much that, you know, you have to think about. Mm -hmm. Because even when we're talking about gifting, I was having a conversation a few weeks ago and I said, ah, if you 
Last year, my team was a lot smaller. Mm. This year, I'm like, where do I begin? <laughs> because, in fact, I had a boss a few years ago who, um, as we were coming around towards the end of the year, closing out for the Christmas holiday, mm. he just walked in and said, ah, your gifts. And he had Ankara for each person. And I thought it was such an innovative idea, yeah. right? And I said to him, I said, ah, how did you plan it what did you and he said well when he thought about it he thought about the size of his team and he just found an ankara vendor and said you know what just pack give me and supply yeah. and he had started paying her all the way from about september wow so that he would just pay and pay and pay and then it actually made sense so last year i did something similar Four and i months. just was like chicken live Four chicken ah they send you messages to tell us that we have we do calls. our youngest old man Aha, uh -huh. get offended if you don't pick up the call. Is he there? Hello? Yes, Hello. we can hear you now. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Sorry, my voice is somehow half cut out. The breeze here is there. Uh, there have been issues. Get well soon. Yes. Um, I think the, the lady there, or the mom there, because with her analysis, eh, it's like she's the youngest old mom. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Is the entire onion? They so they will start cutting onions first before they take the knife to their body. Yes, they they will call them the entire. They used to. They are, some of them are canaries. They come from the far north. Uh, they do those things for money, and sometimes they will scare. I can remember in those days. Man, wow, oh, you know me today. You remember things. <laughs> those are the good old days now. But you know, for me. Eh, <clears throat> They don't know this. The, the situation, the inflation, we are smart or smart planning. Mm. So that is just the problem. Because no matter how you plan, anything you budget, the inflation will just come and scatter all the things. And it gets to the brain. In fact, it gets to the inner part. And the pain is different. These days, you can't even plan. You can't even project because of the inflation. Mm. You might project on 4,000. So they tell you it's 225. Mm. In fact, the inflation doubles these days. But the good news there is that we we have been created to stand the toughest of times mm. and right in us we are built with love no matter how difficult it is mm. we are different people in this life so i know that we'll do the right thing and we'll try our best to survive and tell the story yes. and at the same time we should not forget to give to the i think the mother the the, the, so the, the, the motherless and yeah. those people are very very important because with all you are planning somebody don't even have parents to help them plan. Mm. Some have not even seen their day break. They don't even mm. know how it's going to happen. Mm. They're not even thinking Christmas. They are think, thinking on how to exist, how to even survive. Mm. This square meal is like, it's a luxury for them. So for me, in all we do, we plan, let's remember them. Yeah. And it, it takes a lot out of our uh, pockets, but at the end of the day, it takes a lot of challenges that mm -hmm. we don't even know. Mm. That's all I need to say. But I really like the 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 the, the, mem the, refresh. the memory of the, the canary. Of the <laughs> yes. No my my Have a nice day. Oh, no. Thank yeah. you so much. I'm glad he said what he said. I was quite impressed with my daughter today. Well, not today, but she's turning 25 in November, and she had been talking about having a dinner, having friends, plan music, plan car, plan everything. And then all of a sudden, she called me and said, Mommy, I decide I want to do an outreach. Find me a charity that is reputable, mm. that we know that when we do something for them, the kids are going to feel it. And I was so impressed, because I'm not that charitable. I believe my charity is <laughs> around me. Mm. But she's actually planning it, printing T-shirts, telling her friends, if you're for me, that's what we're doing for my birthday. We're going to spend time in a home, spend time playing with the kids, mm. apart from giving them things, and then probably start a cause where we can do it every month. So it's not just for the Christmas, and mm. they don't see us again until the following Christmas. I think that, I mean, it's so important, right? Mm. But one thing that I also noticed, which is something that I, I do, which is what I was, I was talking yes. about before, is um, we often, everybody focuses, and it's not a bad thing, right? But everybody focuses. I think we have another phone call. We have Jeremy on the line. Hi, Jeremy, are you there from Abuja? Okay, I think we lost him. So, so yeah, in giving to, um, in, in this as aspect of giving, right, mm. people tend to give. So we think, when we think giving, we think the orphanages, we think yes, the motherless, yes, motherless yes. babies' homes. And I remember going to one, right, and the feedback was, 
In fact, they opened the room to show us and said, look, rats are here eating the noodles, eating the rice. So we can't stop because everybody is coming here. At the same time. And what it actually showed me was, look, you don't have to go to these symbolic places. Yeah. Mm. There is so much need. Because when you just said that around, around you. Is where the uh, yeah. Is. So it, it doesn't mean that in your own little sphere, yeah. there are people You're who are needy. Kids. Yeah, exactly. There are people who are needy. So you think about it, your security guard, mm. your, um, your you know, your staff. domestic yeah. staff, yeah. people around them. So in December, it's like, I have a process. So in December, my nanny, I pay for her hair. Mm. Uh, <laughs> there's money when she's going home. And then I give her rice, oil, and all yes. these things to take home. So we realize that we can make such an impact. It doesn't have to be grand it gestures where we say, oh, yeah. we're going yeah. to present bags of rice and uh, then we take pictures, yeah. you know. Yeah. But we, we really need to identify people around us that we can feed. And then if we, you know, go the extra mile and say, okay, yes, I want to go to an orphanage and things. But I think it's also important that we just bring it home to say, you know, we can I'm help sorry, those around when us. when you mentioned rats, I also wanted to say the fact that most people go at the same time. Mm. At times, they run the risk of having to stock those things, which they will eventually not even be able to consume mm. because it's in the pantry, yeah. rats are there, cockroaches are there. Mm. Also, instead of, we really have to practice this. When we say we want to do an outreach, not really just an outreach, take care of somebody. Okay, just hold that. I think Jeremy He's is back. back. Hi, Jeremy, are you there? Yeah, I'm good evening, guys. Good evening. Welcome to the show. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, so um talking about making smart choices for the um, Christmas celebration. Um, you look at basically what I wanna say is you cut your coat according to your size. Mm. Not everybody can do um um okay. Oh, I think no, we've lost him there. Bad. But he does make an important point. In fact, I think we've moved on oh, from apart from even cutting to your to your size now, yeah, you cut to your, to your um to your cloth, to yes. the material that you have, yes. right? Yes. So important that we're not um spending beyond our means. Yes. And when we talk about and that's why we say smart, right? It's because mm -hmm. it's not everybody's capacity is different. Yes. So what is it that we're going to actually be spending? Mm -hmm. Um but I think we're, we're almost coming to the bit where we start saying we're running out of time, we're running out of time. But what kind of, um, what else should we have our viewers thinking about today in terms of planning for Christmas? We've, we've touched on the food, Security. we've touched on the giving. Pardon? Security. 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 Absolutely right, right? So in terms of improving your security, right. I think Lady gave the suggestion of not going far from home, but we also know, like Chinelo said, you don't said, have a choice. You're going yeah. abroad, you, you're wait, going wait, away, Christmas you don't have choice. Yeah, yeah. Christmas, Christmas and New Year's Eve. Mm. Nowhere, I don't go New anywhere. New Year's Eve, really? I don't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. I don't even do all that, to watch over watch service, let's go. Oh, are you serious? You don't tempt me. I don't ah, tell, yes, except yes. the POP wants to collapse on my head at all. <laughs> and in my house, honestly, crossing honestly. over. Yes. Yeah, crossing yeah. over. I have, I have a slang. I'm so yes. sorry. No, no, no. no. I just want to teach people this thing. I have a slang that I call balling on a budget. Mm. Balling on a budget means you should use your smarts mm. to achieve the same effect yeah. without expending yourself. Mm. Sure. Sorry, love. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Okay, so for me, it's... um. I, I like to say that if anything were to happen to me, it mm. should never be on a Christmas day. Mm. Right, right, right. It should right. I don't want anybody to have to mourn or be sad because of me mm. on Christmas day. So I am at home. Right oh, in my house. Happen now. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I, just like, I just like to minimize yeah, you know yeah. all that making days, lovely and days and bad memories for people. I'm just yeah. But you know it's funny that you actually mentioned not actually going anywhere on Christmas Day. So for me, mm. that was how I was raised, mm. right? It wasn't a, it wasn't a not go, but that was just, we didn't go anywhere on Christmas Day. We were home. Everybody yeah. was home. Yeah. You eat until you are almost, so yeah, people might stop by, but it was really a family thing. And then of course, you know, in the UK, there's no movement as well. So people don't like moving around. Well, when I say there's, there's no movement, no there are no buses, there's no yeah. public transport. So people really have to plan limited. and all of that. So it was really for me, always a family holiday. So I found it weird when I came to Nigeria that people were having party on Christmas day. I'm like, why are you having a party on Christmas day? <laughs> 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 okay, so I was going to say, when, mm. when 
planning for Christmas, you should also remember what happens in January. January is the longest yes. month of the year. Mm. And then there are a lot of expenses. So there's mm. school fees, fees for people that yes. have children. Yes. Yep. Well, you know, and then you're starting a new year. Yeah. So you have to down start putting yourself so that you don't come and start complaining in January they are drinking Gary. And start running. You know in Nigeria, the way you start something is the way you finish. Yeah. So there's that superstitious yeah, so. belief also that if your January starts on the clear level, your year is probably going to be clear. But it's adults. such an important point, right? Yes. Because January is really that longest month. Six and this is where, uh, <laughs> six weeks long, right? And this is where you come back to that element of planning. Yes. That you really, really need to not only plan for December, but plan mm -hmm. for how you're going to get to January 31st. Yeah. Or so at least to pay day on January mm -hmm. if you have a job too. Um, mm. That's also another very, very important point. I like that you touched on um, on security. But um, I think another that call. we have another call coming yes. through. Okay, is Jeremy back? Okay, I think we may have lost him again. The typical <laughs> uh, telco <laughs> and the um, phone networks and the rest. One thing I want to say, please plan less bangers this year. For no, no, no. We can't Let me tell you why. Fireworks. Fireworks and why fire. not? They should please. <laughs> With the security anxiety that everybody has. <laughs> <laughs> I personally, oh, when I hear, I'm telling you, I've never been there. Me too. For someone that has fireworks, I mean, you know I'm half cast, so it's something that should be used to But... Where, where? As in, <laughs> but for some reason, my spirit has never been able to get used to bam, 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 oh. bam. Ah. But how would you know it was December? That's, that's like really culturally, no, culturally, that's how you know it's December. Yeah. In fact, yeah. funny enough, as, as a child, you have to try to distinguish because I mean, what security used to be back then in those days mm. as well, you'd have to try to distinguish between conscience and anger. Yeah, that used to also be a thing. Yeah. Um, yes. but yes. I mean, yeah. we've 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 when you are going to the wedding, the planning of the outfits is another matter. <laughs> Tell us you will swear for them. Oh, 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 Bookings for 2023, but we're done for 2022. I'm telling you, it's not the ones that will say, Ah, 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 it's not the ones so so that's another aspect of planning. I think we've done a good job of running through all the things that people need to plan. Um, but more important than that is having a safe, secure, festive season. We know that um, Ember months typically uh -huh. the heightened security concerns. Yeah. Of course, we're also approaching elections, so there's so many reasons why, yes. even in whatever movements that we're making um, and the fantastic and wonderful you know, part of the season, mm -hmm. please, please, please let us look at our security. Mm -hmm. As Lydie said, let's... Keep us, God keep us, you know, into the new year and, you know, everybody have an amazing festive season. But it's been such a wonderful and enriching conversation. I hope that we've been able to give our viewers some great ideas. Okay, before you go, uh -huh. I think there's a message okay. that in for us. It says, um, good evening, my dear beautiful sisters of what are you saying? Hashtag ways. It's not planning for the festive season. Like they say, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Yep. Let us apply wisdom when planning for the festive season because it is very key. We do not have to wait for December to come before doing our shopping mm. because of the increase in price of things. Considering those who love traveling, let us suspend traveling for now because of the recent killings and kidnappings. It is only someone that is alive that can enjoy Christmas. Mm. We may even have financial challenges, but God is in control. God bless you, beautiful sisters. In Jesus' name, amen. My name is Daniel Elo. Ways regular fire. Absolutely. Okay. There's another comment <laughs> here from yeah. Austin from Delta. And Austin says, um, good topic to discuss. It is unfortunate that most people go into unnecessary stress during youth side because they want to belong or be asserted and mourn inwardly after. We must remember the reason for the season and not time to display false affluence by going a step further to borrow or overspend your mm. budgets. 
please be yourself and remember the bills waiting for you in January considered as the longest month mm -hmm. if you cannot afford chicken on Christmas it's cow meat if you cannot afford Brazilian hair go low cuts God bless you all <laughs> Uncle Uti you're doing well but please where is Uwa <laughs> <laughs> don't worry she will, she will be back next week she did it yes, she absolutely did um, but thank you so much ladies I think I've had so I enjoyed had you fun. See, I was scared yeah. Thank you so much. Before we go, do ensure you follow us on Instagram at Wish Show Africa. You can interact with us further, drop a comment, and most importantly, follow all our social media engagements. Mm -hmm. Remember to like, share, comment, and invite your friends and family to watch us and follow us. So if you missed today's quote, here it is again. Mm -hmm. A dream written down with a date becomes a goal. A goal broken down into steps becomes a plan. And a plan backed by action becomes reality. So we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.